Hey guys, today I am reviewing the gaming performance on the CM13 Marshmallow and I am also checking out some benchmarks. So let's get right into the video. Now I want to get this theme out of the way. This is a theme that I am rocking on my device and I made a video on this specific theme. So I will link that on the card on the screen that you can see and I will link that on the description as well. So just tap that card if you are interested in this touch with theme for the CM. Now to the gaming test. These are the games that I am going to be testing today. So first of all we have got Asphalt 8. Now it does launch relatively quickly and I have it open already over here because I I don't want to waste much time and I don't want to make it that long so as uh, you can see it's just load and I'm going into the first Nevada level and uh, I'm just cutting straight to the chase and it takes around 27 seconds to load but I'm not showing you all of that now as you can see the frame rate is absolutely stellar and no frames are being dropped over here so now let's get into the gameplay as you can see it is pretty smooth and I'm playing through the viewfinder so please forgive me if I don't play that well because it's kind of hard so as you can see no frames are being dropped it's just so smooth and I am having absolutely no problem with the frame rate or the movements and as you can see the rec animation also works I am playing this game on the highest possible settings Okay, now getting to the next game that is Temple Run. As well, it was absolutely a breeze. Now, Temple Run is a smaller game and it loads even faster. And the experience within the game is also exceptionally well. No frames are being dropped, just like the asphalt. And the motion sensor is working in this ROM, so thumbs up for that. And uh, also, this uh, ROM is performing really well on the next game over here that is stick cricket that is even lighter as you can see the performance is really cooperative and it isn't dropping any frames it is responding to my touch as I command and yeah this gameplay is pretty good as well now, getting to the heaviest game of uh, this video that is Nova 3 and I am just skipping the loading part but it doesn't take that much time and as you can see I am in the game and no frames are being dropped it's a relatively smooth experience and it is on the highest possible settings and as you can see I'm not that good at this game but the purpose of the video is to show off the performance of this ROM's gaming abilities and as you can see this game takes full advantage and the device gets slightly warm to the touch after playing all those games and uh, as you can see I'm just moving really smoothly to the interface and there is absolutely no problem in any of the controls so you should take that as a positive message and yeah Nova 3 is also a win. Now to the second part of the video that is the benchmarks. I am testing it through Android 2 and Geekbench 3. Now first getting to the Geekbench 3, I am showing you over here that it is the Exynos Octa variant of the Galaxy S4. Now getting to the test, now I am running the benchmarks, just skip the process. And as you can see getting to the score, it's 736 and 2076 with all of the background apps open and that is really impressive. Now when I close out these apps, I get an even better score of 816 and 2460. The Android 2 scores are good as well, 38,500 and I'm showing you it through a screenshot so that's impressive. That was the gaming and benchmark test for the same 13 for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and N500 and the commenter that asked me for this video, I will put him over here. I hope you are satisfied with this video and uh, that's it guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and high five.